Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to talk about Tati's Darwad plant. We are going to talk about Tata Motors' Darwad plant head. Amidav Sahai, sir. Welcome to our channel. Thank you. Welcome to you as well. Thank you so much. I guess this is your first visit to the plant. Yes, yes. First time in Darwad. Okay. Sir, we are going to talk about two of us. We are going to talk about two of us. So, we are going to talk about two of us. We are going to talk about two of us. We are going to talk about two of us. We are going to talk about two of us. We are going to talk about two of us. We are going to talk about two of us. Amidav, sir. We are going to talk about two of us. Sir, first I want to ask you something like that. When I entered to the NCV plan, means the assembly line, I have seen a lot of people are working together. So I want to ask, what is the key values that are putting behind the giving the equal opportunity and giving the opportunity for all genders and enhancing the future of the workers? Right. So this has always been our culture. Yeah. So when you are talking about diversity on female employees, yes, yes. So it, it has to start from the base. Okay. So at the base, if you see, we have got a very robust posh policy. And we have a policy where we have a committee which takes care and ensures that the girls who are working, oh. they are very comfortable. Okay. And this committee, they meet time to time and they interact okay. and they understand what is the area. That is one part of it. Okay. And from a facility perspective, we have our buses and that bus is common. And each these girls, they are actually forming that they become part of an SVD team. I think the, the team who is working right now, if you see. Yes, yes. So these are the girls who are taking care. Uh, so here, if what we have is a self-directed team. Okay, this now one. in these self-directed team, each girls or each team members, they take responsibility of one pillar. Oh, okay. You take care on safety, some on quality, others on production. Oh, so safety and quality, everyone is a right. pillar. So, so this is how they they meet each other on a daily basis. Okay. What they every day they have a toolbox talk and oh. they have a sunrise meeting. Okay. So at the start of the shift, they discuss on what went well and what did not go well. So, so everybody has a team. Yes. So that gives them an opportunity to work together and take small improvement targets. Okay. Or else the routine job will make them bored. Yeah. So true. they take up challenging projects. In CTO we call it as a quality circle. So they form a small team, they take up those projects, they come out with solutions and in many of them they have been recognized and they have been awarded in terms of suggestion that they give. Oh, you are giving awards. Yeah. Oh, great, so they great. Earn money and so they will be uh, ready to give more uh, yes. information or more improvement. So, so that's how this work culture, you know, they, they become self-dependent and they take it. So every day they meet at once in a day, mm. they understand and they, they come back on it. Oh, that's great. Sir, uh, when I walk through the plant, I have seen a lot of machineries and a lot of humans are working together. It's like an integrating machines and humans together. So what are the machines running behind the... So the equipment, maybe if you want to see, we can take to see. Like for example, these equipment, these are multi these are all nut runners used for talking of the oh. board. Oh, yes, yes. If you see, there are screens. Oh, yeah. So they are all technology where it is actually calculated at measuring. One is it is ensuring the right torque and right angle is there. Second, it is also storing the data and giving it to a system yes. where it records. So, so like the, everything is, is recorded right everything. through the system. So all these torquings are now torqued hmm. in a, typically in an assembly line, torquing is a critical part. Okay. So most of the critical operations that require torquing are all through DC nut runners and all have got an IoT device which ensures that the right torque is there and that goes as a part of a genome. Okay. Apart from that, as a technology, we also have fuel filling machines. Mm -hmm. We have ECOS machines or let's say a flashing. So they all ensure that whatever test, whatever assembly that you do or whatever operation that you do, they capture the data and store the data. Oh. And they ensure that whatever is within the specification, that vehicle or that chassis rolls in with those attributes in mind. Okay. So I have another doubt that when I see the assembly line, it's a continuous job, like a section by section. What if it, someone is forgot to do their job, what will happen? So that's where if you see, one is each station has got handoffs and each station has got a PLC control. So if a particular operation is not done, then maybe somewhere you can see the digital uh, control center that is there. So it will not give you a green indicator, it will stop. Oh. So there is an and on call, so it will, it will glow as red and that straight away attracts the attention of a line supervisor. Okay. He goes in and attends what is to be done. For example, if you see the yellow, yeah. so that is the operation being done. Oh, oh. If the operation is missed or it is not proper, it goes red. Oh. So those and on calls, so that is a, it everything is under controlled by a system. 
everything here if you see though the operation is being done manually by an operator mm. but the critical operation part of it is being done electronically electronic machine. machine oh okay okay that's not great. only that you have those technology for checking the brake system mm -hmm. checking how is your abs system working for that also you have an equipment somewhere there oh. those rbt machines are there they ensure that whatever vehicle passes has got the right brakes right. have the right uh, safety system. is an important thing especially because tata motors these operations are safety yeah. very important tata right. motors is talking about more safety right so i want to ask you something uh, uh, right now we are hearing the lcv plan right sir so only lcvs are making in the darwad plant or uh, we have electric no, no. we we have got primarily we have got three assembly lines here okay. we make in this factory that you see this is making lcv buses mm -hmm. and lcv buses we have an assembly line which takes care of e buses that we put here okay we also have a, the same line is also capable of having a manufacturing for your mnsc uh -huh. and we have a shorter line with a smaller pitch so that takes care of your smaller vehicle which is an scv that they do so, so that way for all the commercial vehicles we have those products and the flexibility in manufacturing helps us to take care of i have a last question when i visit the darwad plant i have seen the 40 percent is greenery is there any uh, motive behind that one so it is all coming from a global or i would say a target that is there on for when you say 40 percent we the challenge is one is we have ensured that even with our future expansion of project we will still have 40 percent greenery that is there That's thank you so much sir for your time Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.